Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Welcome to an episode of Happy Mail. <laughs> what an amazing week I had to get away on a little mini vacation, um, go camping, which I love, uh, and see um, my friend and go thrifting with my friend. Like, you'd think that You'd think that that would be enough, but no, the happiness didn't end there. I came home, we pulled into our driveway, and I could see a little package tucked uh, in the door. And uh, it was happy mail from Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Um, Kelly had mentioned to me, she wanted to know if I would like any cabinet cards. Um, and... Yes, please. Real cabinet cards. What a, what a treasure. Uh, so I absolutely, yes, please. That would be lovely. Well, <clears throat> as I've said, I get spoiled and I'm very grateful. So we will get to the cabinet cards, uh, but she sent me much more than cabinet cards. And, uh, and I know, I know that junk journalers love this stuff you're like me you love looking at thrift hauls and happy mail hauls and all that good stuff you get ideas from we, we you know we share ideas and inspiration now first of all this i love this i love gold doilies love gold doilies look at all these gold doilies and i love the shape so these will absolutely um, be put to use Gold is just such a nice color to be able to use in junk journals that have a Victorian slant to them. Sorry if that's kind of glary. Um, if they've got a little Victorian slant to them. I also, I love them in Christmas journals. Gold is just, I think it's just so warm in a Christmas journal. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled with all, of, look at them all here. There's just, and doilies are those things where you think you've got them all separated and no, no, they'll come apart. There's still more, two more stuck together sort of thing. They just, they're the gift that keeps on giving. So thank you for that. Uh, Kelly knows I like gold doilies. So she sent, uh, she sent some pages out of some vintage magazines and the woman knows the way to my heart. So she sent me some, there's little notes on all of them. So I want to, I'm going to put the notes back on. Um, she says, may be suitable to fussy cut and make altered paper clips. So oh, let me move this so it's not so distracting. I'll move these over. There we go. So, and let me make sure I am in. I might come down a bit. There we go. So, uh, yeah, Del Monte pineapple. That would make a great altered paper clip. Same with the tuna. Fabulous. Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Mm, yum. Oh, fries, cocoa. Yes. I'll make a cute little altered paper clip. There we go. Diet Deluxe. Sweetened with Supero. Oh, my. Mm. Pierre Pam peanut butter. Oh, I love the coupon. See, I would... I would make an altered paper, I will make an altered paper clip out of the Peter Pan peanut butter and then I would slip the coupon in underneath it. I think that would be fun. Um, ocean spray cranberry. Oh my goodness. Oh, and see, I just love this. I See, I think I'd make a tuck spot and use the full thing. I, I, I think... My family is not unique in this, but if ever there is cranberry sauce on the table for like Thanksgiving or Christmas, we like it still shaped like the can. <laughs> it's just, it just makes it. <laughs> it's the spirit of the holidays when your cranberry sauce is shaped like the, chan the can that it plopped out of. We love that. Oh, I like this too. Yeah, those would make, look, you could get three cute uh, paper clips out of that uh, morel ham. Oh, yes. Oh, see, these are going to be great. Thank you. Quaker Oats. Tender, instant tender leaf pure tea. Instant tea. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now, you know what? Wouldn't that be handy to make um, iced tea with? 
whenever I want fresh iced tea, uh, I, I always forget to make it and then I don't, um, and then I don't bother making it because it takes a while. Those are great. Um, Kelly knows the way to my heart and it's usually through, uh, potty humor magazine ads or feminine hygiene. <laughs> so, uh, look magazine, 1961. I'm going to come back. There we go. Um, <laughs> so like Wahoo, Tampax. Oh, a sunbeam can opener. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Hotter today. Go to the beach. I love that. <sighs> yes. I'm going to leave those together just so I know where they're the year and what they're from. This one. Oh my goodness. My husband had to roll his eyes. You want that? <laughs> yes. FDS. <laughs> 1967 for FDS ad. What's this one? Oh, Tampax again. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. I really love it. This might be one of my favorite ads ever. And of course, um, is this the one with the naturally rusty? No, it's coming up. She, she saved me a naturally rusty paper clip. Um, this ad. <laughs> Gas has got it. <laughs> she said, my naughty inner child thought yours might yours might like this ad simply due to the gas reference. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> All right. Now I want to make some some uh, domestic goddess journals. These, this is perfect for domestic goddess journals. And then there's a whole bunch of wonderful pages together. There's the Naturally Rusty Paperclip. Thank you, Kelly. 1956 Chatelaine. Oh, Kotex. Love it. More Kotex. The softest ever. Yeah, I know. I know. I can't explain it. It's the juvenile that's still living in this 61-year-old body. And if you can't laugh at it, what are you going to do? I think for me, part of it is the house I grew up in. I had three brothers and I had a very, very private mother when it came to things like that. And I was expected to keep that time of the month. Don't talk about it. Don't let anyone know that you're dealing with that. Um, you know, the boys shouldn't know. My brothers shouldn't know. And uh, you just, that's private. And I love now. You know what? It's a fact of life. Talk about your cycles. Get men used to it. Get get our sons used to it. Oh, these are cute. Sorry, I'll stop lecturing. I, but I think that's why I also think it's so funny because I was just never allowed to talk about it when I was younger. Wouldn't that make a fantastic um, big, well, pocket? It would make a great pocket but uh, or uh, altered paper clip. Wow, these are lovely. Same with Cheese Whiz. <gasps> they used to be a commercial. Cheese Whiz. Do, 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 do. Cheese Whiz. Do, 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 do. Love those. Love those. They'll get used. Let's see what this one is. Uh, 1950 McCall's. Oh, hold on. 1950 McCall's. Delrich Marjoram. That glorious taste of Delrich. Oh my, that's a lot of margarine to put on your toast. <laughs> I usually like butter and margarine on my toast. I just like it the way it is. I like toasted bread. Oh, that's cute. Toastmaster. <gasps> pressure cooker? Yeah. Pressure cooker. I only ever used my pressure cooker for canning. I never actually cooked food in my pressure cooker. I used it for low acid things that had to be done. Um, it, you couldn't just do water bath. I used my pressure cooker for that. Oh, toilet paper. Yes. Wouldn't that make a nice altered paper clip? And look how delicate she looks enjoying her toilet paper. Oh. Hi ho crackers. Yes. Cute. Campbell soup. Boy, both sides of that page are good. That's one of those ones where you've got to you've got to decide which page I loved this one. Kelly, I loved this one. Hold on, 1939. But 
Better homes and garden. I love this. When Jim looked run down, I blamed his boss. But the trouble really was his breakfast. And then there's a cartoon all about how Jim was run down. And when she started cooking him a better breakfast with shredded Ralston, everything worked up for him. Um, Philip's Milk of Magnesia. <laughs> if you overindulge, take Philip's at bedtime. <laughs> Keep your men fit for battle with this energizing food drink. <laughs> Cocoa malt. <laughs> for two dollars on the toaster you've always... Oh, trade in your old toaster for a Toastmaster. Wow. We had a toaster when I was, when I was really young. That was the flip out kind, and you had to remember to open it up, turn your bread over, and close it back up again. Oh, look at this. The old tune, Sweeter Than Ever, on the Musette. Isn't that cute? Look at her little face. Beautiful. Concrete homes. My goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Let's put this back together. Of course, where did I put that? I'll have to find another. Thank goodness it wasn't the rusty paper, but I wouldn't want to lose that one. Oh, maybe this was it, and it was just attached. Okay. Paint yourself a new home. Look at all those nice bright colors. How Mrs. Wilson bought a new living room. Oh, both sides are good. Wow. All right, so these all actually came from there. All right. So these are all wonderful. These will all be used. And I love leaving the little tags on it. I, it's nice when you get happy mail and the sender has, takes you like on a little tour of your happy mail. I just love that. It's like they're in the room with me while I'm opening it and they're telling me all about what they put in. And I just love it. So I, I usually, whenever possible, leave those on the, the items. It also helps me remember who gave me such lovely things so I can remember to thank them again when I when I use them. Uh, so here we go. Uh, she took pity on me as well. My uh, my crafty crush and and my Kelly took pity on me when I was belly aching. Okay, hold on. I have to pause. I, I, I'm just so touched at the people that remember what I'm talking about in my videos because I know I ramble on. I know I chatter on and on. And they remembered that I was complaining that I had no bugs. And look at all these bugs. <gasps> yep, I'll never use these. Maybe you need some creepy crawlies. Heck yeah. <laughs> if not, they can go in your donation bin. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> these stay. Look how pretty they are. And they've got a little bit of gold. Look. Woohoo. These will definitely go on into journals. <gasps> yes. Oh, look at that beautiful dragonfly. Thank you, Kelly. I'm actually going to tuck this envelope into the bug book that Nancy gave me so that when I need a bug, I'll know where they all are. Because honestly, this is all the bugs I've got. But I've got lots now, so that's good. So that's wonderful. Um, I love this. Let me move this out of the way here. Good. That's sort of in the way. There we go. I love this book. The, the family album the bigger album from upstairs it uh, I thought what is this <laughs> it says sorry no chocolates because they may melt while you're away camping <laughs> usually she sends me raisinets <laughs> um, thought you may wish to cut out these pictures in your work if not feel free Feel free to donate. And no, I looked through this. This is fabulous. The family album, 1917. So it's old. And wait till you see the fabulous pictures in it. Look at this. Aren't these awesome? And they're just a perfect color. And it's got just a funny little humorous story making this person a character and telling you all about who this is. Like this is Maisie. Maisie Bergstresser. Ma's cousin from down to Beerstown. <laughs> Puella Farnham and her man, Barney Layden. They had a dandy wedding. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't this great? Bar Marty Dunnigan. 
Oh, there's Tracy Sedgwick. I just love this. I actually read through it. They're funny little stories about whoever this is supposed to be. Isn't that awesome? Look at how it's gone yellowed where it was sewn together. What a funny little parlor book that this would have been. I love seeing that it was multicultural. Just beautiful. Oh, isn't she lovely? Mary Jane Pample. My goodness. And some of them do look like that. Oh, my. Imogene Penelope Lounsbury, a poetess. Oh, crush, crush this bleeding heart and inland crushing triumph. <laughs> oh, quite a poetess. Hmm. Penelope. I have a little granddaughter named Penelope. I gave her a haircut yesterday. That was a treat. One of the pluses of being double vaxxed. Now I can go back to... Um, having haircut visits with grandbabies and children. I say children, they're adults, but they're my children, so. Um, so, wait till you see. So here is the cabinet cards that, um, that Kelly said. Look at this beautiful child. Is, look at that face. And look at that little baby. Look at the coconut on that beautiful baby. Oh. Isn't it wonderful how they look at that? Her eyes and the embossing on this is gorgeous. I just it says Joe on the back. Makes you wonder whether her name was Josephine and she went by Joe, or whether she was whether this was saved and given to someone named Joe. Um, who knows? But I just I think that's. I think she's lovely. I love her little hairdo. And look at her. She looks like she was a very tiny woman. Most of them were back then. So beautiful. Look at her. Even a little bit of a smile in this one. Which you don't often get when they had to hold their pose for such a long time. Or else they their teeth were so bad they didn't show their teeth in smiles. Um, some, often times they didn't have any left in their head. And then here's the little cabinet cards. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. I hope you enjoy looking through these the way I do. I'm going to come down low, closer so I can lay them down. There we go. She looks beautiful. Look at that hairdo. Look at the, the curls in her little bangs. She probably would have done that um, tying her hair in rags at night. And sometimes to help uh, the the curl hold, they'd use um, simple syrup, watered sugar, to help hold, the, make it stiff when it dries and hold. Look at this guy, he's a historical hottie. He looks a little like Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness, the waistlines on these ladies. Absolutely amazing. Look at this young man in his uniform. I often wonder, like, these were real people. They led a life, you know? They lived. They had happiness. They had sorrow. Here's another historical hottie. Wowee. Look at this dapper young fellow. Look how skinny he is. My mother would say he has to run around in the shower to get wet. <laughs> I love the backs. Isn't that beautiful? She's beautiful with her lovely hat and the buttons on her sleeve. Wow. Again, isn't that gorgeous? Now, there's a Peterborough near me, about 40, 40 minutes north of me, and I wonder if this is my Peterborough. You never know how they made their way over to where Kelly lives. Look at that beautiful face. She looks very, very serious. She has a similar nose to the gentleman a few cards back, and I wonder if they were family. With best love. With something best love. <laughs> Look at this little sweetheart. It's a smile again. To catch a child. Look at the little boots with the buttons on them. 
Oh my goodness, and that dress. Wow. This looks like a, a dapper gentleman. Oh, I love this. Did he in? And photograph. You know it. Now I'm going to have to go online and see if all these... I'm going to have to see if Ball and Company in Peterborough is my Peterborough. Ball, Central 13 Narrow Bridge Street, Peterborough. I'm going to have to see. Here's an unusual one. It's It was it was actually very hard to be overweight back then. They worked so hard physically. Their food, the variety in their food wasn't... You know, like sugar was expensive and rare. Honey and maple syrup was a little more common where I, here in Ontario, than cane sugar. Um, but I love her. Look at her beautiful, healthy hap apple, apple face and her fluffy sleeves. I bet those would have had um, stuffing in it to keep them puffed out while she wore them. But you can tell she's a, she's a Renoir woman, as I like to call us. And look at those mutton chops on him. Oh, Baker Street, Horton Square. Hmm. I love his mustache. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. His uniform. Look at his hat. Wow. His jacket. Hmm. She's lovely. Holding a book. Very pretty. Old Kent Road. Do, 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 do. Now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head. Look at her with her beautiful hat. Peterborough. W. Beals. Near the rink. Peterborough. Now I'm going to have to go and find out and look at him. Isn't he handsome looking? W. Child photographer, Wellington Street in the Leeds. Hmm. And look at her. Oh, she's has she got pierced ears? She does. Wow. William Ball. Yeah, 13 Narrow Street in Peterborough. Opposite Priestgate. I'm going to have to find out. So look at Look at these, a few cabinet cards. You spoiled me, Kelly, and I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much for spoiling me. These will be going into junk journals. I'm going to do my best not to covet it, but I find sometimes when I get things that I love, I do have to covet them for a little while, but then I'm ready to send them to their new homes and, and wish them well in their next life. And these definitely need to enjoy life in a beautiful junk journal, so they will. But I may have to just sort of pat them for a while. <laughs> you know what I mean. Those of you who love this sort of thing, you know what I mean. Look at all these. I'll spread those out. Well, thanks for joining me. And Kelly, thank you again for thinking of me. What a week. I just had such a wonderful, wonderful week. And uh, it was thanks to some lovely, nice ladies. Oh, here. There we go. And, uh, and my sweetie pie who drove me and chauffeured me around. Nancy drove me and chauffeured me around too. Um, so I had, I had quite a relaxing break and it was nice. Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed looking through all these old beautiful photographs. And we'll talk soon. Bye.